And uh, the next presentation will be by Liu Jun Ma from China, uh, from Tsinghua University. I pronounced it correctly. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he will tell us about cultural, cultural heritage digital protection. Thank you, everyone. It's my, uh, it's my honor to be here to share my project. Actually, this is not my project. <laughs> it's a website that published by Dunhuang uh, Academy two days before, just two days before. Uh, Dunhuang is a, a very famous uh, interest in uh, Northwest Province Gansu, and uh, it's, uh, it was uh, have uh, thousands of Buddhist caves. But uh, at present, they use this method to show the uh, show their cultural heritage. Uh, you, you know that it's just a, a paranormal image. So also we can interaction with some some place, and we go to another site. Uh, it's not really 3D. So my. Uh, my project is uh, is uh, is a working in progress project. I want to show the real 3D Buddha caves uh, on the web. So I am looking for some resolution. Uh, as a lot of people, uh, a lot of a lot of engineering and artists uh, show your project uh, this this morning. I think I come I come here. Uh, it's very right and. Uh, Okay. I want to show the demo pre uh, status first. Wait for a moment, my laptop is a little slow. So this is a really 3D WebGR based uh, Dunhuang Southern Bhutan Caves. Uh, the number is uh, 159. And uh, at present, it's not a totally uh, planned for web project, uh, half, half planned for web and half uh, uh, customi customized uh, project. Uh, why we why I uh, not are you use in Blend for Web? Uh, one per, one reason is at the time I use Blender for Web. I'm just uh, beginning to study Blender for Web, not, uh, Blender for Web, not for a long time. Uh, at that time, uh, Weber uh, Weber VR uh, SDK in Blend for Web is not open to everybody, so I use some customized SDK. So as you can see, uh, it's a Weber-based uh, Weber VR sense, and uh, we can uh, walk through the caves. You can see the details. We can just walk, uh, uh, look at the t uh, roof, or just uh, very close to the statues. And uh, it's all were based on web. So that's a demo. If uh, somebody is interested about this, uh, we, you can experience it uh, after my talk. So my topic is talking about cultural heritage digital protection. Um, I, I'm looking for some solution to try to use the modern technology to pre to preserve the caves of the Southern Buddha caves. 
what is Dong Huang? As I said, it's a uh, it's a thousand of Buddhist grottoes, which is built from fifth to fourteenth centuries as the northwest province, Gansu, China. It's very far from here, but uh, uh, I think I take my laptop here, so everybody can went to went into the caves. And uh, why we need digital protection? Uh, the primary concern is about uh, uh, there's too many tourists went to the uh, caves, and uh, uh, it's uh, bring a lot of threat, uh, threats. That uh, how to manage so many uh, the in increasing number of the tourists that come to see the caves, and the caves is damaged because it lasts for a thousand years. It was damaged by the natural reasons and damaged by the war and even damaged by some other uh, unexpected expect reasons. And uh, another reason is that China not only have this one place with thousand Buddha caves, there's a lot of places have the same, uh, have the, this, their, uh, this their caves. Um, I think he, yeah, about uh, at least about uh, 50, more than 50. And uh, another reason is uh, yeah, because all the caves was built for a thousand years. Uh, it was damaged by the natural reasons. So you can see, if we do not protect it uh, right now, maybe 10 years later, nobody can see things. Some was collapsed, and uh, another uh, some reason is not by the nature, but by by people. You know that uh, the religions changed before. People believe uh, Buddhist, but now some people try try uh, transform their religions to other religions. Uh, religions, so they just destroy the statues, destroy the paintings. Nothing left in the inside these caves. And why I chose to use WebRVR to show this heritage? One important reason I just talked with another friend this morning. I think before I use WebRVR, uh, before I use Plan for Web, uh, the experience to show my show our project is very difficult. Like this is a video we show to uh, we show to uh, uh, we use the plan uh, we use HTC Vive to show. Uh, it's also uh, it's, it's based on Unity 3D, uh, as we talked before. It's a commercial software, and uh, the user experience is really not very uh, fluent. If we want to show on our smartphone, we need to uh, download the app. If we want to uh, look in at our laptop, we need a very powerful laptop. And if we want to just uh, uh, and uh, another reason. We create this 3D project. We want to be more efficient, and we want to create more interaction inside the uh, inside this scene. And uh, as I showed you uh, before, I use Plan for Web. What I can do is only working work through the caves. It's only just uh, show the VR content. Uh, but uh, when I turned to Plan for Web, I found it's uh, quite easy to trans uh, uh, to create some immersive immersive uh, scenes. It's just uh, our concept design, but not the final project. As as I talked with uh, the expert uh, uh, this morning, uh, I want to. Do more research about the how to do interaction in the virtual reality environment. How to do how to build a FUI system. You know that uh, when a wave put down this HMD, so you can't see your hand. How to interaction with this thing as uh, what we are at present we are do the research. This is uh, uh, another project. Uh, uh, Oh, Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong City University uh, published in 2012. It's for visitors to explore the Buddhist virtually. But actually, this is uh, not uh, uh, web-based. They built a, they built this cave like this. They use several projector. 
And uh, why we why I, we do not choose this there? Just because, you know, like I said, I take the laptop here, so everyone can experience uh, the, the Southern Buddha caves. If I put uh, published or worked online, so everyone in uh, in everywhere in this world, they can just suffer on internet. If they have a uh, HMD, they just uh, step into the virtuality. If they, they do not have a HMD, it's okay. Just uh, have a 3D. Uh, it's really uh, work through. And uh, at, present, at present, our design concept is like this. We want to, we do, we do a lot, we did a lot of design works. This is a virtual museum. What virtual museum design looks like. It's uh, outside, it's an inside design. And uh, this part, you can see, this part, we want to put the virtual, uh, uh, virtual reality uh, caves here. Our work concept design, but uh, you know it's our design in 3D. So if we want to transform this into a web VR, a web web VR, it's just uh, needs time. This part is uh, uh, statues that uh, we got this uh, date from uh, the caves. Uh, most of the work, we used laser scanner to uh, create this content. Uh, we got this content, you uh, used laser scanner, and it's a very high resolution uh, 3D model. And uh, not only the, uh, not only the uh, virtual Caves, but also the virtual museum, like the, the other export shows before, we want to show some like the, if you went, uh, if you entered into an immersive sense, you can experience small things. And we also want to uh, do more interaction design for multi-platform. So uh, it looks like. Uh, if uh, it looks like HTML, HTML5 and uh, WebGL is uh, and uh, is available for this project. Also, some interesting uh, experiment. You know, with time lapse. Uh, a lot of the painting, the color were changed. So uh, some of, some of the artists are working on how to show the original color. Color. So everyone can uh, suffer the internet. Just use the mouse to uh, to drag to drag the timeline to see what happened about the painting. Also working on some interesting program, you can play a game like this. It's just uh, it's an outline of a uh, uh, of a, a sculpture. You can paint by yourself. You can learn more things about that. So that's all of my project, uh, and uh, I want to show here. It's I'm I come for, I come here just for to for. Looking for some resolution, I think uh, maybe uh, we can talk about it uh, this more after this meeting. And uh, anybody who want to experience this VR demo can uh, can put on my HMD. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Questions. All right. Uh, one, two. <coughs> all right. Uh, first of all, it's a really interesting uh, thing. Um, I'm interested in how you actually, uh, uh, how are you making uh, the um, uh, virtual copies of uh, the? Um, you mean this uh, 3D scans? I mean, oh uh, yeah. Uh, are you um, using uh, 3D scans or modeling, or you're combining? Yeah, we use the laser, uh, 3D laser scan scanner to create that to got the uh, 20 point cloud, then uh, build this point cloud into mesh, then uh, re remap the textures 
to the models and uh, uh, optimized it, then transform it into WebGL to show it online. All right. I just uh, saw uh, before uh, some things that were made uh, with uh, scanners, and they had um, a worse um, result. So this is looking uh, really great, like it was modeled. Uh, we did yeah. a lot of uh, optimizing work, and uh, uh, in three D model, uh, in three D software, um, and. Uh, this project is not a personal project, it's a big project, and uh, we're working, uh, we cooperate with uh, some computer science, uh, computer science background students. They help us to build a 3D software. It can, um, can uh, make this uh, texture automatic mapping to the models. All right, very interesting, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, more questions? Um, are you planning to uh, model other grotto and the environment outside the grotto, all the all the um, yeah all, all the hill and the mountain with yeah. the grotto? Yeah, actually, uh, in Dunhuang, there's about uh, nearly a thousand of caves. Uh, it's a really a big project to modeling all of the caves. And uh, another reason, some of the caves was already damaged, so we can't got uh, the data. And uh, at present, uh, we we are uh, we already have about uh, uh, dozens of these caves 3D data. So um, we we are working on optimize this uh, this part, uh, those part, and uh, after this part work, uh, as you see, it's a it's, it's a working in progress project. If uh, the web of VR or um, method is uh, is accepted by everybody, by the audience. So we will try more in this way. Thank you. Thanks. Someone else? No, uh, Eugene, uh, am I right that uh, uh, the biggest evil for uh, all this cultural heritage nowadays are tourists? Is uh, are they are they real evil? I mean, uh, uh, for all this uh, beautiful stuff, tourists, just people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. So I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, you said that uh, nowadays lots of guys coming to the uh, yeah yeah come so to the, come, come to Dunhuang. Th this is the first and the main purpose to create uh, such. Uh, and, th and this is uh, not uh, the first reason why we created this in digital. Uh, so that's your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the first reason is that uh, with time lapsed, uh, the caves collapsed and damaged or do not exist. A lot of painting were just uh, uh, disappear. Uh, by uh, a lot of reasons, uh, ho uh, human reasons or natural reasons. Uh, the second reason is that uh, you know that uh, UNICEF, uh, UN, uh, I, C, E, F, uh, UNICEF, they have a big plan about the world memory. So we want to. Uh, this is also part of this uh, the UNICEF project. You know, every country, every nationality, they have their cultural heritages. Uh, if we do not record this, if we, we do not protect it, our children are uh, maybe they do not have a chance to see this. This can't be stopped uh, if uh, in the real world, but we can we can record the real status of, about the caves at present, and uh, the digital data can be. Uh, preserved for a long time maybe, uh, without damage. That's a really uh, that's the most important reason. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, in your presentation, it is, was very great. Thank you. Thank uh, you. In your presentation, you mentioned about uh, uh, virtual museums. So this is uh, yet another project you are developing. Uh, is it connected to cultural heritage? So are you going to put uh, cultural heritage models into this virtual museum? 
Yeah, that's true. I, I mentioned before uh, uh, this morning. I talked with uh, uh, other lecturers. Uh, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a uh, engineer. I'm just a designer. So we are looking for resolution uh, solutions to build our virtual museum. So we tried a lot of software, a lot of commercial software such as Unity 3D, such as, uh, and uh, and so on. I'm not um, I'm not talking about that. Just uh, we chose a lot of software. But uh, finally, I think, uh, in my opinion, before W Plan for Web is a very uh, creative and uh, efficient tool to uh, to make our design into real. And uh, you're talking about uh, the rest part of the virtual uh, virtual museum. Yes, this is uh, this is a key. You say this is a key. In my presentation, let me show it. Uh, in this design, It's just a small part. Mm -hmm. So uh, why I try uh, try WebRVR uh, API? That's because if uh, this part can be worked, uh, so we can just uh, extend this or this project uh, uh, use the same tool or use the same method, the same uh, solution. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? More questions, please. Okay. Thank you very much for coming. Thank, Thank you very you. much.